Hi, I'm John from Our Home From Scratch, and in this video I'm going to show you how we got this basement egress doorway installed. So we just got this egress uh, walkway installed out of our basement, and the reason we did that is we are uh, about to refinish our basement. So this was the first thing we wanted to do and check off the list because we don't we didn't have any other means of getting out of the basement other than through the interior entrance to the basement and and that entrance way isn't one straight shot of stairs down into our basement it, it's a 90 degree turn and so bringing in long objects like four by eight sheets of plywood or couches or if we want to bring a pool table down the road uh, or bringing uh, woodworking stuff in and out uh, it was a real challenge because you had to go in through the house. Usually, you made a mess with some dirtier stuff. So, we were looking at either an egress window or an, or an egress door. And because of our existing steps in the basement, we preferred the, this egress doorway. Um, but first, we had considered uh, just a basic egress window as a way of getting in and out. Um, so that egress window. Um, wouldn't allow us to bring in those big objects like pl plywood and all that stuff, but it would, would allow us sort of for like a safe exit during a, some kind of an emergency. Um, but we ended up going with this doorway, uh, and it's a full-size 80-inch door. It's pre-hung, and it sits in here uh, pretty nicely. So in this video, I'm going to show you what the contractors did um, from start to finish so you can kind of get have a sense of what the process is like and what the cost is like. Um, so we'll go into that demonstration now. So this is the wall in the house in the backyard where we had these egress installed. And you can see this is what we wanted, the basic look, to have a lintel over a doorway. So we started out with uh, the contractor brought in his backhoe and cleared all this dirt. And you know, just to give you some perspective on what it would be like to shovel this out, this was a lot of effort. And um, if you don't own a backhoe, this isn't something I'd recommend this type of project to do yourself just because of all the excavation required it's, it's pretty significant you also need some place to put the dirt when you're done and then you need to take a they took a basically a concrete saw gas powered and made this cut both on the inside and the outside uh, along the doorway lines and uh, it's a lot of dust and you can see we kind of put up some dust protection some water protection and had to pull the insulation off the wall and then it's jackhammer time so once the cuts were made for the doorway and the lintel they basically spent half a day here um, jackhammering out the, the slab because uh, you can't just make a bottom cut and pull it out. And this is the close-up of the lentil. It's a precast uh, stone or brick lentil. And this is the view from the outside with the doorway cut. Uh, so once the doorway was cut, it was time for the footers. The footers were poured uh, using in some rebar there. And then it was block wall day. That took about a day for them to do the block wall, try, tie in the drain, and then uh, steps were poured. The, the drain was tied in. And uh, then the, the block walls were parged. And that's pretty much the work that was involved. And then we threw in the door. That was it. Okay, so for cost of this system, you're looking at anywhere between $5,000 and $15,000, depending upon the sort of the scope and the level of effort required, right? So um, we had better luck with contractors, finding contractors to do this sort of system um, by looking at general contractors or contractors that specialize in block and concrete work. Now that sounds like a no-brainer, right? But at the time, initially, we started looking at people who, were, who specialized in basement egresses. So if you go to basement egress folks, they generally are trying to put you into an egress window solution or a Bilco door solution, which we weren't really inter interested in. We wanted this more completely open, co co you know, poured concrete steps thing. Uh, whereas a Bilco door, um, while helpful in terms of a utility sense, we wanted something more permanent and more attractive than a Bilco system. Uh, so we started shifting and looking at general contractors that do masonry and concrete work, and we found a few that came out and gave us some, some bids for this work. And again, those bids, bids varied pretty wildly. Um, the other thing we were able to do to save money was to, uh, first off, we don't have a finished basement, so the basement isn't finished, so we didn't have to worry about opening a hole in the drywall and removing, you know, framing lumber and all that stuff. We didn't, any of that we have to do yet when we finish the basement, so that saved money. The other thing is we installed our own door. So I, I asked the contractor basically just to do all the block and concrete work and I would do all the finishing. So that means putting in the pressure treated lumber to support the, the opening of the door and, and then installing the entry door ourselves with this P3 
PVC trim and then caulking it all. So we all, we're also integrating it into our alarm system and all that stuff. So all of that we're taking on, and that probably saved a thousand dollars or more just by handling the door. And it really wasn't hard to install. Most of the hard work was trying to get the pressure treated lumber uh, installed and, and, and fastened to the the structure of the house. Uh, so that part stunk. Um, but overall, you know, it was easy to install, and it works great. So we still have some more stuff to do with the door. When we finish the basement, um, the basement wall and it's all framed out, we'll have to push this door in so the interior side of the door is flush with the rest of the wall. All right, so this is just a standard um, sort of entry door for a uh, two by four stick built house. So you have a certain jam width. So this isn't gonna work when we finish the basement. We actually have to push the door in, which means I'll need to add a jam extension. So in a future video, I'll be showing you how to add a PVC jam extension so you can, if you have a thick concrete or block wall, you can still get by by using an, uh, a standard entry door. Um, we could have also ordered this entry door with a longer jam, but that would have cost, that, was, that would be a customization that would have added uh, a, a ton of cost. That's something we could do for under 100 bucks ourselves, so we'll do that later as well. Uh, the other thing we're gonna be adding is some guardrails on either side. Uh, they need to be 36 inches above grade or above the level uh, to keep people from falling in or kids or animals, uh, along with a front gate that we can lock and open again to keep other stuff out. We'll also be finishing some landscaping in here. Uh, so we'll add some weed screen and some river stone and we'll sort of tie it into the rest of the landscaping. Uh, so you'll see some videos on those coming out and then we'll be shifting gears and finishing the rest of the basement. So if you have any questions on anything you saw in this video, or if there's anything you'd like to see in, in some of those upcoming videos, uh, just leave a comment below this video, or you can shoot me an email at john at ourhomefromscratch.com, and we'll see you next time.